Okay, we continue. The former menu with interesting the former called display sir. I explain more in material, but a little bit in the material. S insert a simple plane here. Uh, displacement is something in a texture with uh, black and white codes. For example, in this code, as you can see, this is a black and white texture that uh, we have a white and black and a gray between them. Uh, imagine that the <coughs> white area is one and the black area is zero. We have two types of the displacement. Displacement intensity or displacement center, as I explained it. But imagine that the higher part become the white part become the higher part and the <coughs> blacks become the lower part and the gray are in between them. For example, in this image, you can see it better. We give the this texture to the displacement texture material uh, or displacement deformer. As you can see, the we have two modes. This is intensity and this is uh, intensity center. In the intensity center, the gray uh, are the middle. Uh, the gray keeping a zero level. The <coughs> white become upper and the black become the lower part of the model according to that texture. This is something behind that. But we have two displacements in Cinema 4D. One is in a texture. For example, I delete those texture, add a texture here, and double click on it. I will explain the material editor. Don't worry, all of them. We have something called here displacement. Here, you can insert those textures here. You can see, click on this icon and, for example, insert TC gray. It asks you, it's, it's not in the search pass. No, I don't need And as you can see, the displacement uh, show here. You can right click and open window. And oh, it's a very big resolution. Sorry for that. Make it a little smaller. It will be rendered here. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, the displacement text uh, we uh, assign that texture to the displacement material. And here you can change the strength and height. But as you can see, we cannot see in a viewport because first we have to assign it to the plane. And as you can see, we have a little, we have nothing because we have to render it. Okay, we can not see anything inter interactive. Okay. Why we cannot see anything? Because the segment is very in a low number. We have to increase the segment in a higher number. And as you can see, you can see that displacement. That is in a white is a, a higher part, gray keep the zero level and the black go down. And here you can go to material and double click on it to in, go into separate win window. And here you can uh, change the height. For example, any height that you type here is a white and the zero height is <clears throat> gray and the negative number is black it's the intensity center as you can see the black is negative this number but the bad part is we have to always be in a render mode okay click to deactivate Render region. <clears throat> okay, we can delete that texture and we can do the another way for displacement is uh, displacer 
the former, holding shift to assign it to the child of the plane, the segment of plane. Now, okay, and now we can do it here. If you want to assign the texture for that displacement, in this displacement deformer, we are really displace the polygon up and down. We don't need to render it. <clears throat> the segment has okay, okay. We are high dense. When you tick emulation, it means, please, as you can see, all of its tabs will be gone and it refer to that texture that you assign. First, you have to assign the texture to the plane. And as you can see, it will automatically do for us. We don't need to render. As you can see, it's really change the polygon positions. This displacement is real. That displacement was uh, in a camera, not real. Okay, just we are in emulation and we can control the strengths and anything at we have to go in that texture here. Double click on it and we can go into the displacement tab here and control the displacement tab from here. But <clears throat> if you untick that, we have to assign our texture in a shading. We have all tabs and we don't need texture again. We can delete that, we go with displacement, and here you can simply, we are going to custom shader, and you can click this or here, or you can click on this and load image. I will be explained all of them in material. Don't worry, but you can load your image here. For example, like insert the gray. No, and as you can see, our texture is directly in our uh, comment, and we don't need to texture. It's a better way. <clears throat> okay and in a mapping you can control your uh, movement and tileable uh, mapping for example if you want to uh, move it if the tile is active it's tile means you repeat and repeat holding alt to move uh, in a little number here as you can see you can move the offset u and offset v right click to activate if you want to more of this image in one image you can uh, reduce the length of the in a u and v as you can see we have more of them this is image that uh, it's read it will reduce our length and because of the tile if you if you turn it off just we have one tile here. as you can see we are go we have to go into the object and we can change the strengths of that because we are in a center if you go into density we have something different here i will explain the difference between them <coughs> here we can go into the shader and make the tile and right click and right click to the one image as you can see here you can go into the object and change the strengths of it and the height Okay, you can change the type in intensity or intensity center, or you can ch uh, change the heights and uh, bumps with a red and green color in texture, but I insert a black and white texture. This is an, a, dire a direction. It's a, the default is vertex normal. It's <clears throat> uh, change the position of polygon uh, according to the uh, vertex normal, the normal are the line perpendicular to the polygons and the other mode is streetcar or planner in a planner you can specify which plan do you want to move up as you can see in here we can with the uh, orientation we can invert the black and white as you can see and you can plan for example in Z or in the direction that you want going to the for a spherical I insert an a sphere to explain it imagine that this is explained I increase that number of the polygons <clears throat> a segment holding shift holding shift because we want to jump the displacer 
deformer to the axis of the objects go into the shading and as like before insert your texture as you can see the texture will be assigned a free color that but uh, the free call does not mean the free call mapping the free call uh, as you can see if we are in a vertex we can change the position of your displacer but it's not important because it's always on a surface of the uh, vertex normals if you change it to the free call uh, you if you change the position of the uh, displacer will be changed the uh, displacer effect on a surface because in a free call <coughs> it's uh, create a center for a displacer deformer and you can change it <clears throat> okay and going here another settings okay we are explained in a shading i explained them in a strings here it, it, it invert does not mean invert the black and white here if we reach to the cloner and mugraph we have an effector called shader it's a very important effector here that I explained there. In a field, we have a fall off. You can insert a linear fall off. I explained them in detail when we reach to the coloner. But you can control the amount of the effect of the deformer with the fall off. As you can see, it's very simple. going to display there an important part is refresh okay going to the displacer here in a shading when you <coughs> open the shader you can use the default shader of the cinema 4d for example uh, in a surface tile you can assign the tile to it going to the tile going to the shader you can change the color of the shader for example change the color of the uh, <coughs> those color to the black and white your gray if you right click and open a window you can see the image the gray part uh, mean with the in a zero level black going down and white going up and fake this delete that Ooh. In a refresh is it means refreshing because the displacer is uh, when you change the settings we, you need to refresh that for refreshing the displacer learn that we have we can hit the a button a button refresh the viewport in object when we tick the object refreshing it means if you use a deformer you can use a deformer for that okay for example you can holding shift and bend deformer to that sphere oh sorry going to this uh, in a first we need displacer and then affect the bend and we have the bend if the object if the object in a complex model uh, if the object it will be refreshing the bending or deforming object it's a i would uh, explain camera after the back face call as you can see, the deformer is a very um, heavy comment for our machines or our PC. This is a simple scene, but if the, we have a long scene, your machine really is going to slow down. Backface call, if you activate it, the backface, the back of that model that will be dis displayed like the front, it it, it will dis disappear, disappear it means we don't need uh, <clears throat> this place at the back because we don't see that but if you you turn as you can see this is very this is flat and just we can displacement in, in our front and this uh, method will be reduce our memory and it's very light for our system but as you can see because we um, we deactivated the camera refreshing it does not refresh if you tick this refresh you can rotate your model and it's automatically dis disable the dis uh, displacement at the back the side that we don't see that 
and it's automatically refresh your as you can see look at here refreshing the uh, camera for you if you deactivate it you have to for example here you have to uh, click a to refresh your viewport this is all about refreshing it's not important in render the render does the uh, jobs automatically for you yeah, you can see when uh, when we are going to the back that displacer will be hide and it's very good for our memory in uh, our pc okay this is a displacer you can use it in your project and enjoy it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release